Good morning, everyone. I hope this video finds you well, happy, and healthy. So I was cruising around uh, Instagram, and I saw a bunch of funny things, so I just decided to grab some screenshots and share them with you in their utter and total absurdity. So we have the two goons. Prince Charles, Oprah. Oprah's back, folks. And a bot... A could... could could there be another bought and paid for award? You bet your ass there can be. So I find it hilarious from Markle Markled on Instagram. King Charles the Cruel. Sussex fans are furious as Charles coronation to fall on Archie's birthday. Well, can you, th the absolute audacity of this man and the royal family and the commonwealth and the kingdom and all the other things that need to happen or all the all the legit having a coronation is probably a logistics nightmare but you know they, they they're just so inconsiderate to have this on archie's birthday so they're up for they're getting they're not up for never another award if you'll notice they don't ever like or they don't ever beat anybody out for an award like you know the Emmys where there will be all sorts of people nominated and and the best wins that's never the case with these folks they buy awards and it's we're going to prove it here today that it's bought and paid for from Carrie Kennedy she's the uh I guess she's the granddaughter of Robert F Kennedy I don't know I don't really care she's a granddaughter or the daughter I'm so delighted to announce that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are this year's RFK Human Rights Loretta's in recognition of their work on racial justice, mental health, and many social impact initiatives, initiatives through the Archwell Foundation. What do they do, folks? Because if they actually did things, you know, on racial justice mental health and i hope they're not impacting anything socially but you know for the sake of argument what do they do to impact you know what are they doing for social impact because all they all we see from these people are puff pieces crap their netflix series which nobody's seen i mean if, if they're going to do something there nobody's seen it we're not even sure if we'll ever see it. Uh, Prick Harry's memoir, and then just showing up and giving speeches and awards. They don't do anything. They'll join Cyrus Frank Baker, Bank of America's Brian Moynihan, and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky as honorees December 6th. Now that should be interesting, folks. That should be interesting because if you'll recall, I wonder if it'll be a little bit awkward. Because the Sussex squad was making, Meghan Markle's Sussex squad was making death threats to President Zelensky because he didn't respond to their uh, letter. And he, and he tweeted to, so I wonder how that's going to be. I wonder how that's going to be. This also falls on December 6th, which is, you know, uh, so there's this whole Boston thing going on. So you have this Kennedy, RFK. He was the second Kennedy to get shot. And then you have JFK, which the the royal family has a long-standing history with the Kennedy family. They're pretty close. And Prince William is doing his Earthshot Prize December 2nd in Boston. And then you have the Kennedys, and these two are doing this December 6th with all this stuff. I mean, talk about trying to keep up. Although they're flat, they're, they, they're, they're failures, folks. I mean, people see right through this. Um, somebody writes, as a, uh, the Caribbean prince writes, as a black man, please tell me what Harry and Meghan have done for racial justice. Yeah, we're all wondering that, Caribbean prince. We're all wondering. They have caused racial division in the UK. That's right. Add a shuffle bottom. In a word, nothing. I've never heard so much BS. Well, <laughs> There's a lot more of it out there, Ada. There's a lot more of it out there. Anna Rogas writes, buying recognition that has not been earned, because that's their pattern, that's what they do. 
people show they show up to these awards things and give these speeches and everybody in the audience you know at least in the audience has to be like what did they do and then megan just talks about herself Buying recognition that has not been earned does not improve the image of H&M. No, it doesn't. They can't get it. They don't seem to get it. They are a fraud and they have no achievement to show. No, there is no achievement to show. She doesn't talk about the things that they've done. And if they do show, you know, B-roll, which is like, um, you know, just, just video footage, it's all stuff that they've done years like years ago over five plus five ten years ago they are a fraud and they have no achievement to show much less megan a woman who disguises herself as a woman of color with her suntan lotion <laughs> yeah that's yourself tanner so here here we come to the fun part from the dumbartons on instagram the RFK Foundation literally has a sunshinesacks.com email address. So this award is bought and paid for. Now, I know that they're no longer with Sunshine Sacks, but that doesn't matter. They could have paid, They could have bought this award back when they were with Sunshine Sacks. It's only been a couple of weeks or, or a month. I mean, these awards are planned, you know. A long time in advance so they bought another award um, it's I don't know if you can see it but it's under contacts it's RFK human rights at sunshine com. what a small world so that was with the EEOC was the same thing with the sunshine sacks um, not the EEOC um, the NAACP with Sunshine Sacks, funny thing, and um, they write funniest thing of all. Gosh, they are so pathetically obvious and trans and transparent. It's like if they would put this much time and energy and effort and money into things, they would get the awards. But they're not willing to put the work in. So that w- w- why do anything when you can just buy an award? But you know, sooner or later, these places are going to say this isn't helping us either. Us just selling awards to these two. Because, and I've said this before, Harry and Meghan are prime examples of kids that grew up with everybody gets a trophy. Well, no, they don't. But I guess they do if you pay for it, if you pay enough for it. But these two, from what I understand, you know, their financial situation isn't the strongest, shouldn't be buying awards. Because they're not doing anything for them other than letting Meghan talk about herself in a speech at night that's good enough for her though then we have um let me see i source news oprah and megan planning charles ambush now you might think well oprah's not going to work with them anymore oprah's not oprah's done with them well i don't know that she really is because it's almost like harry and megan are still together because that's all they have like oprah might not have any choices for work you know might not have anything in the pipeline coming down except to work with these two again and try and take king charles down the pair have put in motion the airing of a secret interview during the king's coronation unless the palace makes certain concessions i believe that 100 percent. and megan's got an axe to grind because the coronation's on archie's birthday so king charles needs to pay Harry and Meghan to get even with Charles and William. They've been treated terribly by Charles. No, they've been treated accordingly by Charles. I, th- <laughs> Me personally, I think they're all being t- too nice to them. It's a good thing I'm not in charge. They've been treated terribly by Charles and want to punch back. They're the ones doing all the punching. They c- Anyway, I don't know. I can't keep saying the same things over and over again said a close associate they're about to set in motion an elaborate plan to redeem themselves redeem themselves by doing more of what you've been doing that's gotten you in the uh the uh toilet in the first place you know megan complains that she you know in one of my previous videos and i'm sure you guys have read the headlines has been called insane well we all know that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting the same results. 
Let me read this again. They are about to set in motion an elaborate plan to redeem themselves by tacking, by going after Charles and William. That makes sense. Keep going, guys. You look great. <laughs> Inside sources claim Meghan and Oprah plotting revenge on Charles. According to reliable sources, well, well, I don't know what Oprah's problem with Charles is, but yeah, who knows what she's been told. According to reliable sources, the pair are planning to air a new blockbuster interview during the King's coronation, because that's going to go over well. Maybe maybe that's only that's the only way that they can get ratings. I can tell you. I have a screenshot of it and I will show you. All of my metrics on my YouTube channel jumped like significantly. They're back to normal now. But and I you know, I talk about obviously I talk about Harry and Meghan, but they jumped because of Queen Elizabeth's death for the month of September. And that coverage was only going on for like what, 10 days? or so and it jumped because of that so that's all for rating so this is i mean it, it, it's incredible you should have seen it and now it's back to normal because you know harry and Meghan are only relevant if the royal family is involved so i believe this 100 percent. they know it Meghan thinks you know Meghan uh, attributes her failures to other people's problems but she looks at the numbers the numbers don't lie they know so that ought to be good Oprah set to air new blockbuster interview with Megan. Now, just with Megan? Sources say the Sussexes are threatening to air it during Charles's coronation week. Well, that should go over like a lead balloon. Everybody loves to be threatened, especially when they're in a position of power. You cannot, like, making threats when you have no power and no one likes you, keep doing it keep doing it so those are just the things I just saw on Instagram and I wanted to show you I'm definitely looking forward to your thoughts as always these ought to be good you are the funniest audience literally the funniest audience on the planet talk to you soon